he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely the entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. And guys, every time WWE is in Dallas, fans turn out in record numbers, and tonight is no different. Tell me your thoughts on Finn Balor. What do you expect his approach to be here? It's still early, but I really like his chances here tonight. He certainly looks more focused than I remember seeing him in recent weeks. Well, in this world, you get a chance to make a national impact every time you step inside the ring. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to... There may not be a more heartless individual than Bray Wyatt. When the lights go out and the Eater of Worlds stands in front of us, we're almost guaranteed to witness a gruesome scene. There's that. Bray Wyatt can hold millions of people around the world in the palm of his hand, and that's what makes him such a harrowing figure. And he just found out that's not the place you want to be. Look at Finn Balor here. And, and he gets him with a counter. Taken down with authority. He's definitely tapped a power source. This is some great offense by Finn Bray Wyatt looks like he's really struggling right now under the press. Bray Wyatt, and there it is. But did he go for it too early? Things do not look good for Finn Balor. Still trying to. Oh my, oh my God. God! Almost through the turnbuckle. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? This could be it for him, guys. Yeah, he's on Dream Street. Coup de Gras. But is it enough to defeat? There's the cover. Can he do it? There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.